Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cam, and today I have a special guest. Her name is Bobo. Bobo, say hi. Okay. Today I want to talk about tips or just like things to think about before purchasing a dog or adopting a dog. And really like answer the question, should you get one? I'm just going to cover like all the things, all the responsibility that comes with a dog, all the pros and cons. Basically creating a video, a video that I would like to watch back then before I made this decision. First, I, I'm pretty sure you, if you're watching this video, you probably have an idea of what kind of dog you want. Look at this. Picking the type, the personality, the size, the color, that's all you. I'm gonna talk about the other stuff that no one talks about, about getting a dog, what it really takes, right? One thing I like to do is to ask yourself if you can vision yourself 10 years later with the same dog. 10 years later, are you able to vision yourself 10 years down the line and seeing that dog there. Like it's not, it's not like a toy. It's not like a game or clothing or a new computer. It's like a little human, you know, it's like a little baby. If you can see yourself 10 years down, 20 years down the line, you still see yourself taking care of the dog you want to get, then that's a good indicator that you're ready. Like for me, I see, I see Bobo playing with my future kids, being there, playing with them, teaching them. And I see her like getting along with my future dogs as well. That's a very good tip one, right? So tip two, it costs a good amount to maintain a dog but it also doesn't really cost that much so i just want to cover a couple expenses that i have for her definitely off the back medical expenses that is probably the number one that deters a lot of like my friends who wanted to get dog they're like oh don't need to get shots this and that yes but once you do your research and you find uh, the one that works for you i found like a horrible place get all her shots i don't really take her to vets that often like people have a misconception that you have to bring your dog to a vet like like us once a year which, which which you should once a year sometimes where there's no issues if you're following like you know the proper rules feeding her not so many like human food and keeping her health in top shape and walking her and doing all the all the good stuff then yeah your dog should be very healthy and there's no need to visit a vet that often like i know a friend that had a dog for like almost 20 years and she never almost never brought her to the, the vet they just feed her dog food and that's it very simple so other costs would be just food I pay like 50 bucks for your food. That's like a food supply of almost three to six months. Toys, I do the bark box, $20 per month. Provides treats and, and toys. Yeah, probably get a harness and a jacket, but those are like not much. It's like a jacket, it's like a, buying a clothes for myself, you know? One, one per year, not even one every two years. Aside from money, the next thing is time. Do you have the time? They require walking every, uh, every day. Some dog walkers like to do that every day. I walk her like every other day or worst case, like once a week. I allow her because I have a backyard and I let her run around the house. She puts in the backyard and pees at home. She'll have a pee pad for her. Yeah, I'm not that diligent to bring her out all the time and watching her bladder, but some people do. So you have to find out what kind of person, you know, what kind of time are you willing to give to your dog? If you have a lot of time, then this should be a cake. But if you don't, consider giving more time or see if you can get help. Another stuff I want to touch on is they're, they're literally like a human. Like you have to brush their teeth, clean their eyes, clean their ears, earwax, and, and groom them. Typical maintenance. They require showering once a month. I kind of sync her haircut with my haircut. So every time I do my haircut, I would, I would cut her hair as well. I learn to groom with practice. So I, I groom my dog. Sometimes if I'm very busy, I would find a groomer. Most of the time I would do it because I don't trust other groomers. Sometimes they don't do a really good job. If you find a good one, then good luck for you. Training them, training them. I train her pretty well. I think when I got her, I was super excited. I YouTube a lot of tricks. First, I taught her the basics, like sit, come, her name. Uh, it's just a lot of like positive reinforcements using your treats. Don't get too afraid of training. There are some places that, that host classes. Like I heard Petco have classes. You could bring your dog there. They'll walk you through how to train them. But typical videos, if you have the time and you, you put the energy in, you can definitely train them. So pros and cons, right? Let's talk about the pros and cons. Best thing, dog man's best friend. Super cool dog. I love dogs. I didn't know I, I, I was actually a cat person before I got Bobo. After I got her, I, I couldn't go back. Like they're so affectionate. Her particularly, her personality, she loves to just lick your face all the time. Like just kiss you all day. She's always there when you have like emotional times. She's there uh, to cheer you up. She is super active. She's alert. She brings like the liveliness to this house. Like this house is, is, is nothing. It's weird to not have her here. Like one time I had her um, in the groomers or at the doctors overnight to get her spade or something. Came home and it was just quiet. It was weird, too quiet. Even like, she don't really bark. It's just her presence alone just is so joyful. It brings so much joy to me and my family. And I'm so grateful that I have her in my life. Just walking, 
pros, you know, keeps me active. Some people just don't leave the house. I mean, I, I used to not leave the house. Now I have an excuse to, to walk her and walk myself, you know, give myself some vitamin D instead of staying home and doing work all the time. Another big pro. Another one's just, they're fun. You know, you can play tug of war. I play hide and seek with her all the time. It's so funny. I'll tell her to stay and she stays and I'll go hide. And after some time, she will come find me and she'll run around the house. But when she finds me, she starts jumping and like, you know, wagging her tail. It's super fun. It's like having a kid. Some cons would be, I heard some dogs shed. Bobo doesn't really shed that much, but she does. She still sheds a little bit. You'll see it like on the floor or like on the bed or in places. Another con is that they poop and pee everywhere. So you gotta be on top of that, train them. And you know, even though they're trained, sometimes they slip and it's just, you know, having the forgiveness and the, the heart to be patient with them is what I learned from it. Another con would be the barking. Yes, my, I was lucky that she doesn't bark at night. She doesn't bark randomly. She only barks when there's like a stranger near the house, like a mailman or like people knocking on the door. On that, she, she doesn't really bark and I'm, I'm so grateful about that. I heard some dogs do bark randomly and, and some, some owners get really annoyed about that, but you, you can train it. I heard, I've seen videos, you can train them to bark on command and not bark on command. So those are just extra training. What are some tips I can give you before you do get a dog? See if you can babysit one, you know, ask a friend. If they have a dog, go play with them, go to their house, play with them, really talk to someone. But if you're, if you're set in stone, you're like, forget it, I don't need like confirmation about other people. I want it, I want a dog now, you know? So, okay, yeah. With that determination and heart, I think you're ready. And that's why I was, I was, I jumped right in. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, like she, she wanted a Bobo. And I was like, okay, I was sort of unemployed at the time. I was like, okay, I have time. I can, I can train them. I can get to know my dog and be there as she grows up. Cause I got her when she was like eight weeks. So during that time, if you were to get a baby one, that requires a lot of time. They don't do well alone, like when they're young because they need a lot of attention. They start pooping everywhere. It needs a lot more attention than as if you were to adopt the older one because the older ones probably, chances are they might be trained to some extent. So if you were to get a, a baby dog, make sure you have the time. They're gonna, they're gonna love it and they grow up fast. Like another pro said, like take a picture every day when they're eight weeks to a year because they grow, that's when they grow to the full size by a year. And I kind of regret not taking that many pictures and videos, you know, they grow fast. Yeah, and even now I, I, I try to take more videos and just enjoy her presence. At the end of the day, like their the lifespan is shorter than ours. Another saying I like that I want to share with you is that even though Bobo can will not be here for the rest of my life, at least I could be there for her for the rest of her life. How I see it is that having a dog is like pre kids, like just warming me up for kids really. Cause I you know, being like a doggy parent is is some you have some taste of being an actual parent. Cause one time she fell and hurt herself, she was bleeding and I was panicking, you know, I was panicking. I was like, what do I do? And uh, I was just like running over, over, running around, like my head chopped off kind of, type of thing. But uh, yeah, I just, you know, ice her, bandage her, dogs heal fast. So sometimes you just gotta give her time to heal. If not, then you have to bring her to the vet. Oh, another expense I wanna remind you guys, you have to get those uh, fleas and ticks pills where they eat it and then they're able to like kill off ticks if they were to like, drink her blood or something. Not quite sure how it works, but it kind of protects her from fleas and ticks and those are very damaging for your dog. So yeah, hope I gave you a quick crash course. If you love dogs, if you want a dog, if you're all about thinking about getting a dog, leave a thumbs up, you know? Let me know what kind of dog you want, what size. I prefer small dogs because I want to hold her. Maybe at most like a medium dog. I'm, I'm, I'm not a large dog type of guy, but if you are, that's, that's beautiful. Large dogs are super fun. They are have more presence at that. Yeah, let me know what kind of dogs you want, what challenges you, you might think you might have from getting a dog. I think the biggest challenge for me was the parents, right? It's always the parents, like is the parents okay with it? It's not not that I'm, I'm recommending this strategy, but for me, I kind of just pulled the trigger. I kind of give her a heads up like, hey, what if I got a dog and see her reaction, and see if it was like that bad or that good. And then uh, one day we just came home with her. You know, she was just so cute that my mom saw her and she just melted, she was like, Okay, I guess we could take care of her. And then, you know, boom. It's like the puppy dog effect, they say in business. Is let your clients try uh, a certain strategy for a bit. Warm them up, give them like a week or two. The strategy is in place or have the dog in place. Like you don't wanna leave him. You don't wanna live without it. So yeah, all right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Peace.